Okay, so I have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. the, the good and the bad part regarding the working genius. One of the things I was talking to my assistant about, and we've been debating back and forth, I'm not so sure the working genius would be as great for a younger employee. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, mm -hmm. if you look at my 70 plus employees over my locations, I would say a third of my workforce is under 30, mm -hmm. or maybe under 27. Mm -hmm. A third is between 27 and I'd say 45. And mm -hmm. another third of my workforce is actually over 45. So I have mm -hmm. this really nice spectrum of of employees across different generations and all have their own strengths and weaknesses and one of the things that I see with younger employees is they sometimes lack discernment mm -hmm. humility yeah they're idealistic yeah I think with that so I had a very similar thought uh, reflecting on the working genius this past week and getting a chance to dig into the material some more is mm -hmm. right, we talked about this is a great tool in the tool belt but it's not uh, what I would consider by any means a comprehensive solution the way that sort of the fable makes it sound like you know I agree with you I think there's an issue of base level experience we all need to sort of understand you know like this here's an example I was thinking of if you put me in a manufacturing plant in Russia where I do not know manufacturing and I do not know Russian my geniuses would not matter there's some fundamental things you need to be able to speak the language of a particular industry in a particular way in its experience right mm -hmm. there's experience so I think that's really important here that sort of gets glossed over is there's a fundamental competency level that folks need to achieve and some of that just comes through time right where, where we have to be in an industry whether we're talking manufacturing in Russia or in mine home medical industry yeah or or, understanding health care right or yeah coffee or whatever one's natural area businesses. Yeah, and, and there's certainly skills that cross over. I mean, I've worked in many different types of organizations, so eventually those skills begin to be cross-functional. Mm -hmm. But you to speak the language, in this case I used an extreme example of a foreign language, but also an industry language, it requires competency, experience. And I would also say, actually, another thing he doesn't get into here is another thing I was thinking about was the importance of passion. We just have passion around certain industries, passion about caring for people, healthcare, passion about key things like gaming, or coffee, or like there's a passion, it doesn't matter what you're working, there's a passion for the output, right, in some way.